Hey, Marriott Martinez here. Today's tax savings tip is about mileage tracking. Do you know what trips you can and cannot deduct as a real estate professional? Let's start with what you can deduct. Your drive from your office to an open house, that's deductible. Your trip from an open house to your broker's office, that's deductible too. And a quick trip to the coffee shop where you met a potential client, you can do that one too. But now let's talk about what you cannot deduct. Driving to or from your home, unless it's a legitimate home office space, not deductible. And driving to the spa to celebrate a big sale at the end of the day, nice, but not deductible either. There are two ways to deduct your auto expenses. The standard mileage method is the simplest option, which takes the IRS standard mileage rate, which is 54.5 cents for 2018, and multiplies that against your documented business miles. The actual method requires more work since you need to track both your mileage and your actual auto expenses. But regardless of which method you choose, you always need to keep track of your mileage. Here's a big question. How do you know which method saves you more? Within the vehicle deduction feature in QuickBooks Self-Employed, you can compare both methods side by side. For the actual method, you can categorize auto expenses to keep yourself audit proof. If you want to do the standard method, the mileage feature automatically tracks, logs, and calculates your mileage in real time. And now you have more time for those listings.